faster. Try to get something a little more aggressive here. Would be nice if we had some kind of power thing to do this. <laughs> Actually, I do. I, I just, there's something about carving it with your bare hands and hand, hand tools. It just makes it super, super cool. You don't have to go too much. Start rounding over the edges here a little bit. Not really going to take a lot off of it, but just a little. I gotta have this dip a little bit too. And I'll kind of show you what we're looking at now. I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to dig this down and then have these kind of roll up so this this part here still got to get carved out i don't want to go too far but i need to start rounding this section and this part here is going to stay and if i have anything on it to come off i want it to come off on this side and then angle with that curve. I want to keep that curve in there, but I also want to start trying to get a little bit of the sides rounded. That way I can start getting my hand shape right.
it's getting there. Trying to work that curve in there now. Gonna make him a little bow legged. still take a little bit off right in here but I kind of want my height like my highest point to be right on this line so still got a little bit more I can take off right here Rest of that knot that I gotta get out of there. It's getting there. Still a little too fat. see how it's kind of flat so this is the part we're doing right here so I want to keep it like that it also has a little bit of a curve um, mine's actually going to be curving that way a little bit um, you want it kind of flat on the side where the knuckles turn up and then more domed over here with the mill head that I got on here, there really is no right or wrong way to hit with it. It's not like a hatchet or axe, um, hammer, nothing like that. So it, it's whatever is gonna fit in your hand. So I, you're gonna want the flat part for right here and then your hands to wrap around the other. <laughs> Thank you. 